Do not use the wrong engine oil for your vehicle, especially if it's a GDI. There could be damaging consequences for the engine. Now, a lot of this won't just apply to the GDI engine, gasoline direct injection, but others. This is the direct injection fuel pump. It's a high pressure fuel pump. Of course, you still have the low pressure fuel pump typically inside the fuel tank. Now, unfortunately, if you were to take one of these lines off, you would have to completely replace it with a new one. So it doesn't have your typical lines because it's a high pressure pump up to three or 5,000 nowadays on the fuel pressure. Typically, this fuel pump uses a follower on the lobe of the camshaft. As you can see, for this oil formula, we have the FS and you can look it up for the MSDS specifications. This contains one of the higher amounts of zinc, ZDDP. Because using the wrong motor oil, you won't even be able to reach all the critical engine parts. If it's too thick, there are solenoids as well with tiny screens inside these engines. And you can look it up, see for yourself. People often have problems. Why they're not changing their motor oil on time. Use the motor oil the manufacturer suggests. Now personally, yes, I do use the FS formula. And yes, it typically does have more zinc in the formulas that I use. But you want to follow the vehicle's recommendations. Because as we know, zinc is not good for catalytic converters. It can damage them, especially if you're burning oil, but I'm not really doing so. I mean, if so, it's probably the most minuscule amount you can't even notice between oil changes. Meaning, guess what? I'm gonna use oil with more zinc in it. I'm not recommending you do that. You make your own decision. You can see the carbon buildup on this valve. I mean, guys, even with a better NOAC volatility rating, you can avoid a lot of these problems, such as the carbon buildup. And if you have an oil catch can, well, you're gonna save yourself a lot of trouble because obviously the oil catch can won't catch all of the vapor coming through the system and it's gonna make it to the intake valves, at least a portion of it, depending on the quality of the oil catch can, as you can see here, You can see with this TB zinc formula, because it can be bad for your catalytic converter. Not recommended for use in passenger cars requiring API SG, SJ, SL, and so on may cause damage to catalytic converters. For these engines, try Lucas heavy duty oil stabilizer. So the great pressures the fuel pump is under, hey, I don't want to cause any more damage than I have to because obviously I don't want to have to pay for all those new lines when I do replace the fuel pump and you can imagine all the wear materials making it down into your engine. Yeah, definitely not good. Now as you know, this is for more modern vehicles, the low viscosity stabilizer. Next up, we have Lucas upper cylinder lubricant, which is definitely going to help provide protection within the combustion chamber where oil doesn't reach, or, well, if you have a lot of oil burning in there, that's obviously not gonna be good. And the injectors are inside the combustion chamber for a GDI. So you can imagine, this causes a lot of problems with the extreme pressures, temperatures, and everything else they face. You will have more problems if you don't provide some sort of protection. So we'll use some of this Lucas to help out with that situation. Loss of fuel economy, loss of power, burned pistons, premature overhauls, cleans and lubricates carbs, injectors, and valve seats. Don't forget to use a GDI cleaner to clean those intake valves because you're definitely going to save a lot of money in the future, especially if you destroy your engine by not performing a periodic maintenance. I will say you can use CRC intake valve and turbo cleaner, 
Lucas Deep Clean GDI Intake Cleaner. You can use Liquid Molly Valve Clean. I have videos on all these products, testing and reviewing them thoroughly. So you make that decision for yourself. I'm not promoting any brand. I'm really not saying use any special brand or product. Obviously, I'm never trying to sell anything or ask for any kind of money, anything of that nature. However, just like the motor oil that I mentioned, guys, there's other ways around this. You can use SuperTech even to your advantage, the Walmart known oil. All you have to do is look up the specifications and you can find out for yourself how much zinc one contains. So if you want to do this the right way, following in your manufacturer's recommendations, you can do it just like that and see what is allowed and what is sold. Then you can go for the best priced item or even GDI cleaners. You can see I've tried alternate methods of cleaning and they've actually had a lot of success. So you don't have to use some expensive chemicals, buy any particular oils, anything of that nature. I'm all for trying something new, but be safe guys. Don't do anything that's gonna damage your engine. That's one of the main reasons I've tested all these things on my vehicle. Many people tried to tell me, you're gonna destroy that vehicle doing all this. Yeah, that's what they said and I've tried every single one. A carbon chunk will break off and destroy the engine. No, actually it didn't. Never happened and there was plenty of carbon buildup to go around. Am I telling you to do that? No, absolutely not. You need to make that decision for yourself. But obviously if carbon buildup continues to build up over a period of time and you don't clean it, what's going to happen? Damage. Either way you go, damage. If that's the case, it's going to continue to build up until it does eventually break off. Or it's going to really hamper performance if your vehicle even runs, because I've seen it that bad. Again, make these decisions for yourself. And at the least, guys, make sure you change your motor oil on time. I don't know how much I've stressed about changing your motor oil according to severe conditions because most people fall under this. So make sure to see if you fall under the severe conditions listed in your owner's manual. As always guys, thank you for watching and please, the best comments and information come from you guys, engineers, mechanics, all the above. People in manufacturing for some of these products, hey, please jump down, let us know all about it. Thanks for watching, Nate's Interactive Auto.